Jobs like these may have been boring or messy or just plain hard, but they were nothing like facing one of mankind's creepiest and oldest enemies, the rat. Welcome to the grim world of the Victorian rat catcher. Rats were rampant in Victorian times. In overcrowded towns, washing and toilet facilities were very poor. Disease was rife, filth was commonplace. In one single building in London, a rat catcher caught 700 rats. Everyone needed a rat catcher, and this was the most famous of them. Jack Black, rat catcher to Queen Victoria. Rat catching was a big business. There was money to be made. The rats were very saleable. Um, he could uh, catch rats and sell them to publicans who were running um, rat uh, pits in their pubs, a secret illegal occupation. What was a rat pit? A rat pit is where they pitched the rats against dogs, probably terriers, and they had a fight and people betted on them. That can't have been much of a market, can it? Well, one publican in Enfield was buying 500 rats a week that's 26,000 a year at threepence a head, so you can work it out for yourself. Presumably they had rat poison in those days, though. Yes, rat catchers used to make their own poisons. Secret recipe is an example. Now, a rat um, catcher would go to a marketplace uh, with his poison to sell to the general public because rats were such a problem then as they are now. And he might have a cage with many, many rats in. And to demonstrate the efficacy of his poison, he'd take a live rat out of his cage, give it the poison, and psh, there you go. Killing rats using poison was easy. What made this one of the worst jobs of the age was when they had to catch them live. They did it by hand. Rat catchers attracted the rats by rubbing a mixture of sweet-smelling oils on their hands. This worked, but rats bite. A lot. Rat catchers often caught terrible infections. You'd need to be an idiot to put your hand blindly in a hole after a rat, wouldn't you? I smell like an old-fashioned boiled sweet. I think those rats are going to love that. The problem is, half the time, you don't know whether you can hear something rustling or whether it's just... You leaning on me. You hear that? That is that that is definitely something live. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but quite honestly, when you just stick your defenseless hand in here and you've no idea, I don't think there's anything here, what's gonna be on the other end? It is a little bit scary. There's been no noise in here at all for the last two or three minutes. That's my hand, not, not a rat. Oh, I've got something. I've got something furry, definitely. And it's wiggling, it's horrible. <laughs> I don't know, I actually don't want to hurt it, but I suppose that wasn't really the issue for... Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh! I thought it was going to bite me then. So, what do you think now, Tony? Well, it's kind of cute, isn't it? But uh, it's also fairly disgusting. I don't think I would like to do this every day. Shall I take it? Yeah. Come on. Ugh. 